Hey friends, the purpose of this video is to talk about studies weekly. So inside Clever, when you scoot down, you'll eventually find where it says studies weekly. Now, not all school sites in our school district will have access to studies weekly. So if you don't see it, then it's not applicable to your site. If it's a resource your teacher wants you to use frequently, you can click on the heart so that it lives up in the favorites section of your clever experience. And if you ever change your mind, simply click on that heart. And it's not that Studies Weekly has completely disappeared. It's just that it's no longer in your favorites. So that's up to you. Click on Studies Weekly one time in order to enter Studies Weekly. When you get there, you will see the publications that you have access to, either social studies or science. Now, you may have access to resources that are beyond your grade level, so please make sure that you pay attention specifically to the resource or the resources that your teacher wants you to use. Go ahead and click one time on that resource in order for it to open up. If the test is not available, don't be concerned, your teacher will open that up at just the right time. Over the course of a series of weeks, your teacher may specifically request that you complete a set number of tasks. So pay attention to any specific article that your teacher has assigned to you. I'm gonna click right here on week number one. When I click on week number one, I have access to the articles that are specific to this week. Up at the top, these are called breadcrumbs. I know that they don't look like breadcrumbs at all, but it's the trail of where you have gone. So all publications, California third grade, over to week one, and inside week one, I'm at the Let's Get Ready for Community Studies Weekly. If I want this resource to fill the entire screen, I can click on the broken square right here. And by clicking on the broken square, it will take over my entire screen. So the things that I don't need to see will disappear and I will only have access to this particular area. In order to close this, but down here in the bottom right corner, it almost says the full word close. It only says a portion of it. So I can click there when I'm finished. However, let me take you back to the top real quick, because if you want this article to be read out loud to you, you can click the play button right here. This tool right here will adjust the volume. And then the turtle right here lets you know the speed at which the reader is reading. So if you want the speed to speed up just a little bit, you can click that turtle in order for the reader to speed up. I'm gonna click close. After you've had a chance to access the reading, you also have access to a video. So if you wanna click on video, the video will appear. And in order for this to close, you can use the close button down on the right, just like on that last page. You also have an X up at the top. This will also close that material. The play button is located in the very middle of that object, so simply just click play in order for that video to play. If there are additional resources for any particular article, there's an explore more button located right here. You can click on the explore more button one time in order for additional resources to appear. You can scoot down the screen in order to have access to those resources. Right here, I'm being asked a series of questions. So I recommend that you stop here, that you read these questions carefully, that you read all option choices carefully, and that you choose the best answer. I recommend that you do not complete the explore more area until you've had a chance to carefully read the article. In order to get out of this specific area, you're gonna click right here where it says back to articles. Inside the articles area, you'll notice that there are several sections over here on the left. So when you're finished with the very first article, you can click on the second article and the third article and the fourth article and so on. Now on to the next article. Inside the next article, you'll see a title, you'll see the enlarge button, you'll see how it can be read out loud to you, you'll see the speed that can be changed, the watch video and the explore more. You'll also notice at the very bottom that you have questions that are specific to this article. You can easily move to the next article using the next button located right here, or you can head to the previous article using this previous button right here. And all the time, you'll notice over here on the left that all of those next articles are also available to you over on that left-hand side. To continue your learning in other areas, we also have two additional resources for this specific Studies Weekly located right here. Let me click the word play right here where it says crossword. 
you'll notice that the vocabulary words that you have been studying in this resource are also available right here. The words have not been given to you over here on the page at all. You'll have to figure out what vocabulary words fit perfectly into this crossword puzzle based on the definitions that you see down at the bottom of the screen. In order to fill in the information right here, you will type letters on your keyboard. And if you change your mind, you'll head back and then use the backspace key in order to delete any of them. So start in the very first box, begin typing the letters on your keyboard that fit in that specific space. Use backspace if needed, but do your best in this area. In order to exit this area, you'll notice that there's a back button located right over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna click the back button one time. In addition to the crossword puzzle, which is very specific to this article, you'll also notice this specific game right here. I'm gonna click play one time. After clicking play one time, I'm gonna click the play button right here. Let's find out what's happening in this scientific area. It looks like I'm supposed to spell words correctly. I think I'm supposed to look through here to find words that have only been spelled correctly. Or maybe I'm supposed to get rid of the ones that are spelled incorrectly. You know what? I think I'm supposed to drag it. So the word citizen is not spelled correctly. I'm going to drag it over here to the area that is not spelled correctly. This one is spelled correctly. I'm going to scoot it over here into correct spelling. And you'll notice that the green check mark comes founding fathers. It's not the founding fathers. It is the founding fathers. And then delegate. Candidate, that one is spelled incorrectly. Social studies is spelled correctly. Oh, I need to click one more time. Social studies over here and click. History is spelled incorrectly. Memories is spelled incorrectly. Community, that's not spelled correctly. Celebration is not spelled correctly. correctly. All right, as you go through, it's your job to find the words that are spelled correctly and the words that are spelled incorrectly. And you scoot them over to the appropriate, oh, and if you don't get it correct, oh no, then it gives me an opportunity to continue where I left off. And it's also counting up the amount of time it takes for me to complete this task. I'm going to click the pause button. I can either resume or I can restart if needed. And if I want to head back, I'm going to click on menu and I'm going to click on quit. And this is how I head back to the article. When a test is available, it will clearly say that a test is available for you. And then according to your teacher's leadership, take the test during the days that it's available. All right, team, thanks so much for paying attention and have a great day.